Good morning, dear students, and welcome to the E class of Saint Xavier's High School, Adipur. In this session, we are going to start with your chapter number four of English grammar, that is collective noun. So, starting with the chapter, first let's understand what is collective noun. Let's read the chapter. Let's see some of the examples and learn it. Let's get started. Okay, students, you can see the picture on your screen. You can see a bouquet is there, a team of players is there, and a litter of puppies is there. So why we are calling a bouquet, a team, a litter? Bouquet, team, and litter are said to be collective nouns of things, people, and animals. So what is collective noun? Collective noun is the name given to a group of people, animals, or things of same kind spoken as a whole. So, as a whole, why it is said as a whole? Because a bouquet, a bouquet consists of many flowers. But as a whole name, or you can say a collective name of flowers, is said to be bouquet. You can see players, there are many players, but a collective name, a common name, a name spoken as a whole is said to be a team of players. And the puppies, there are many puppies in the basket. So what we will call a litter of puppies. So a group name or a collective name is a group of people, animal or things spoken as a whole. I hope you are clear with it. You can see the examples. A bouquet of flowers, a team of players, a litter of puppies. I hope you are clear with this. Okay. Now in the next picture you can see. Bunch of grapes, a choir of singers, a flock of birds. You can see the picture itself. So what is collective noun? Let me repeat it again. A collective noun is a word used to represent a group of people, animals or things. Again, it's for people, animals and things. A group, a word that represents animal, people and things. I hope you are clear with this. So you can see in the picture, a bunch of grapes, a choir of singers, a flock of birds. I hope you are clear with the picture. It's, it will be very helpful for you to learn it. Now, as in the picture, you can see many examples. A clutch of eggs, there are many eggs. A litter of puppies, a galaxy of star. A crash of rhinos, a bouquet of flowers, a bunch of grapes, a bunch of bananas, a bunch of keys, a pot of dolphins, a flock of sheep, a pride of lion. I hope you are clear with this image. So, whenever a word that is representing a group of people, animal and thing, then it is said to be collective noun. So now, let us see some of the examples and students, you have to learn these examples for your exercise of the textbook. So let's learn the example again. Let me repeat it. A collective noun is a collection of people, animals and things. So let's see the examples. People, first of all, people, a class of students. What is the word used over here? Class. Animals, a shawl of fish. Things, a cluster of stars. Then again, a gang of robbers, a swarm of bees, a bunch of grapes. So these are the collective words used for people, animal and things. Let's see the third example. A choir of singers, an army of ants, a collection of books or stamps. Then again, a band of musicians, a herd of cows, a packet of biscuit. Then let's see the example of people again. A team of player, a brood of chicken or hens, a bar of chocolate, then again let's go to the next example, a committee of managers, 
and troop of actors a fleet of ship so let me just repeat this examples all again for people first of all a class of students a shoal of fish a cluster of stars then again a gang of robbers a swarm of bees a bunch of grapes a choir of singers an army of ants a collection of books and stamps a band of musicians a herd of cows a packet of biscuits again next example a team of players a brood of chickens or hens a bar of chocolate a committee of managers and troop of actors a fleet of ship so let's see some more example students let's see with the next example you can see on the screen a crew of sailors a flock of sheep a block of apartments let me repeat it again it's for for people animal and thing a crew of sailors a flock of sheep a block of apartments then next a staff of teachers a pride of lions a chest of drawers a cast of actors a school of whales a clutch of eggs crowd of people litter of puppies or cubs a bouquet of flowers a dynasty of king gaggle of the geese a bundle of clothes let me repeat it all again students you have to learn this these are the collective noun used for people animal and thing so what are the collective nouns over here a crew of sailors a flock of sheep a block of apartments a staff of teachers a pride of lions a chest of drawers a cast of actors a school of whales a clutch of eggs a crowd of people a litter of puppies or cubs a bouquet of flowers a dynasty of king a gaggle of geese and a bundle of clothes so students i hope you are clear with all of these examples all of these are said to be a collective noun used for a common noun that is people animal and thing so students read down this example learn it properly so that it will be helpful for your exercise portion thank you and have a nice day